Alrighty, back at it again. Upper body today. Very excited because what more can we ask for in the world of gym? Whew, it's hot today. Then upper body. Now I haven't filmed upper body first time filming. My last upper body session and my last session of my program. So today is going to be comprised of a lot of upper body movements. Most upper body parts. This is the arm focus upper body day. So it's weirdly structured. We'll start off with arms at the start. And then we'll end off with arms at the start. So it's like a pump at the start. A pump at the end. And the midpoint is working some parts. At less of an arm pump. More of a chest back shoulders kind of thing so it'll be fun to have my last session of this definitely my most jam-packed session of the week on saturday so yeah let's get going nevertheless i hope you guys are training on your saturday not using the weekend as an excuse fucking jammed in my parking here oh my god let me just try and maneuver out of here. I'm a fucking brother. I think I've got it. Alrighty. We're off. So yeah. Upper body. Starting off with will be some easy bar skull crushes. Now I know people have elbow issues and stuff with this kind of movement. And prefer not to do it. Me personally, I've never even thought about having elbow issues. Like, I don't know, I've never, it's never come across my mind, it's never occurred, but maybe I'm just lucky in that standpoint. Um, one sec. Just keep this camera straight. Mm, stay straight for me, mate. Alright. Um, so yeah, I was saying yesterday how I've taken this sort of pre for a while. And I forgot to mention, as an additive, I bought this pump product. I think the more technical term is nitric oxide. And I'm excited to try it out. Put a scoop of here, as they recommend. It was a massive scoop. So I don't know what the intentions are. But yeah, we're running on 500 milligrams of caffeine and a scoop of whatever the frick is in here. Let's hope we get a nasty pump. As I get leaner, all I'm chasing right now is a nasty pump, but this shit, this camera, doesn't want to stay for me in the right position. Sorry guys, swerving, nearly crashing, I think I got it fucking fairly straight. As I was saying, so I got this nitric oxide, I don't know uh, scientifically what it's supposed to do, but apparently it's supposed to help your performance and help your blood flow, which results in a better pump. We'll have to see today. I am starting to see a few more veins that I haven't seen before in the past. So that is exciting. So maybe a nasty pump plus this whole lot of pre and stimulants will bring out a few more veins, a bit of vascularity, which will be exciting. So let's see. Look, if we're looking for a nasty pump, it's it's my Saturday upper body. So yeah, we'll do skull crushes. Doesn't affect my elbows at all. And then we'll go into some sort of curl variation, maybe a uh, preach up with some D handles on just to get a better squeeze or maybe I can use the easy bar and sometimes I'll just go to easy bar curls as well after the easy bar skull crushes and then I'll get onto um, a dumbbell chest press most likely or maybe a incline smith so you can't go wrong and then once we do that um, I think it's just one chest maybe an additional pec deck or cable fly and, and then one or two lap movements, like a lap pull down underhand and a lap push down. And then we'll end off with, or oh, maybe some rear delts and laterals. And then we'll end off with another tricep push down variation and a curl. So yeah, jam packed, a lot of stuff to get through. My most high volume day, but it's fun. It will be fun. It'll be a good pump. And yeah, that's what we aim for at the end of the day. So, nothing really else to say. Um, I'll be starting with skull crushes, and let's hope we can crush our skull today. I'll catch you guys at the skull crushing bench. We're here 
in the midst of it all. Skull crushers. Now, skull crushers can be mixed up in a whole lot of ways. Me personally, I like to do the easy bar on the incline. Now, it's preference. If you want to go flat, you go, I don't know, dumbbell, I think it's a fucking waste of time. So, I did an easy bar, but what well, you're looking at how deep you want to go on the incline, I'll just go at a 30 degrees angle. Nothing to overcome, it's complicated. You can go flat, you can go 45 degrees, whatever works for you. But yeah, we'll probably start off three or four sets, eight to 12 reps, warm up a bit, see how we go. I love skull crushers, if you do them right, I got a different type of way of hitting them. More of like an elbows in kind of way and then the elbows flared. And it's okay to flare elbows, it's almost like a variation, just not flaring too much. But um, we'll get into it, see how we go. Probably chuck on a five at the, on each side, and then I have the five two point five, and then I hit a working set with a ten. Nothing too heavy, as I said, but I try to achieve quality reps, and that's what it's all about. Let's get it. One of the, this is one of those pain threshold exercises. You just can't be a bitch. You're going to give up not when it's muscular failure and when it's mindset failure. These are two different things in the gym. And if you can master your mind, you'll go to true muscular failure. Nevertheless, let's get going. <sighs> felt pretty good. I gauge a perfect weight. I don't usually do this one hand, but sometimes our predictions go well. Now let's go the other hand, no time, no waste. Zuh. 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 
That was much better than the first one. I mean, sometimes you can do two sets and then, like Mike Mensa, we move on. But just because it's the last, last, um, not even last week, last session of the program, and who knows if I have a nice high volume upper body day in my next program. So let's just smash it out. Um, I hit one more set of camera, then you'll see me on the chest. Bench, Smith, I don't know if it's fake or the dumbbell. Oh. Mm. 
Pretty solo wide, 12 reps. You saw what I did there. So the whole time, I know naturally, if you start from here, you're gonna naturally bring your shoulders in front. For each rep, you need to be able to stop for a second and focus on for the first few times doing this, keeping that weight behind, more like there than here. Just working your front delts and all types of shit. By doing like this, you're really isolating that side delt. It becomes a real lateral movement. So try that, see how that feels. I'll hit another two or three of those. Maybe you'll see one more of that. happy at the lighting there. This is definitely natty lighting. Well, everyone's down there getting ready to go out. I'm becoming a beast. This is what you people don't understand. One day you'll realize there's some components in this world that you'll never take out without fucking them. Jesus. Gotta love a juicy problem. 